Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from integrals, right? So in this lecture uh, we are going to solve this uh, integral uh, using the concept of gamma function, right? So here uh, we have to find the value of this integral from 0 to 1 and we have x log x raised to n, right? And remember here the uh, logarithm is a natural log, right? So here the base of this log is uh, e, uh, which is the exponential number, right? So let us uh, take this integral as i and uh, we'll solve this uh, integral uh, by making use of the concept of uh, integration by method of substitution. So in this uh, integral, uh, the value of n, it belongs to the set of natural numbers, right? So this power n uh, is a natural number. So in the first step, uh, what we will do, uh, we'll take uh, a variable say y is equal to a negative of log of x, right? So here I uh, will make this substitution, right? So now when y is equal to negative of log x, then log x can be written as uh, equal to minus y. And by definition of log, uh, we can write x is equal to e raised to minus y, right? Okay, now uh, let us uh, differentiate x is equal to e raised to minus y uh, with respect to y. Right, so what we will get dx over dy is equal to d by dy of e raised to minus y. So we have minus e raised to minus y, right? So dx can now be written as minus minus e raised to uh, minus y, and here we have dy, right? Okay, now I uh, will uh, change the limits. So here we see that the limits vary from 0 to 1, right? So when x is equal to uh, 0, uh, then uh, here if we take x is equal to 0, then y tends to uh, positive infinity, right? Because when x tends to uh, 0, then log 0 tends to minus infinity. And here we have a negative sign. So we have y tends to positive infinity infinity right and similarly when x is 1 then we have y is equal to minus log of 1 so that is equal to 0 because log of 1 is equal to 0 right so when x goes from 0 to 1 then uh, y goes from infinity to 0 right so now uh, we can uh, rewrite this integral i in terms of the new variable uh, y. So now uh, let us write i in terms of y. So we have here infinity, then we have 0 here, and x is replaced by e raised to minus y, e raised to minus y, and log x is replaced by minus y, right? So here we can write minus y, and uh, we have the power n, and dx is equal to a uh, minus uh, e raised to minus y and dy right okay now see uh, here we have minus y raised to n so we can take minus 1 raised to n outside the integral and then uh, we have infinity then we have here 0 and here we have e raised to minus n y and then we have y raised to n and then we have here a minus e raised to minus y and dy, right? Okay, now see here we have an extra negative sign, right? Minus 1 raised to n we have taken outside the integral as such. And here we have an extra uh, negative sign. So we can neutralize this negative sign by interchanging the limits, right? So we have minus 1 raised to n. So we can write 0 to infinity because we know a property of definite integrals that is a to b f of x dx is equal to negative of b to a f of x dx 
right so when we interchange the limits we put a negative sign before the integral sign right so here we have e raised to minus n y then we have minus y here we have minus y and because the base are same and here we have y raised to n and dy right so now we can write minus 1 raised to n 0 to infinity e raised to minus n plus 1 and here we have y and then we have here n and then dy right so now we have reduced this integral into this one by making this substitution y is equal to negative of log x right now uh, we'll uh, make uh, another substitution here uh, it implies that we have to solve this uh, integral uh, by making use of the method of substitution uh, twice right so now uh, let us take another substitution say uh, z is equal to n plus 1 y right so y is now z divided by n plus 1 right and here uh, we see that y varies from 0 to infinity so when uh, y is 0 then z is simply n plus 1 times 0 and here uh, z is 0 right and similarly when uh, y is uh, infinity then uh, z is also infinite right and remember here uh, n is a natural number right so now uh, let us differentiate z with respect to y so we have dz over dy is equal to uh, n plus 1 right because the derivative of y with respect to y is 1 and now uh, dy can be replaced by dz divided by n plus 1 where n belongs to uh, the set of natural numbers so viewers now let us express this integral i in terms of this new parameter or new variable z right so here uh, we have minus 1 raised to n then we have 0 to infinity and uh, when uh, we take the variable z the limits re uh, remains the same so we have 0 to infinity right and here we have e raised to uh, minus z n plus 1 times uh, y is uh, z and we have here y y can be replaced by z over n plus 1 and here we have the power uh, that is that is n right so here we have n right and dy can be replaced by uh, dz uh, divided by n plus 1 right so now we have this integral so let us uh, simplify it so we have minus 1 raised to n and here we have 0 to infinity e raised to minus z we have z raised to n n plus 1 raised to n here we have dz and here we have n plus 1 raised to 1 right so now see here the bases are same so we can add the exponents so we have minus 1 raised to n 0 to infinity then we have e raised to minus z and then we can write z raised to n dz and n plus 1 raised to n plus 1 right so we can take it outside the integral so we have n plus 1 raised to n plus 1 right okay so now uh, we have this expression and let us apply the uh, concept of gamma function to this integral so now let us write this integral as minus 1 raised to n n plus 1 raised to n plus 1 we have 0 to infinity e raised to minus z and z uh, raised to n can be written as n plus 1 minus 1 
right because this one and this one get cancelled why we have introduced here n plus 1 because see uh, gamma of uh, m is defined as 0 to infinity e raised to minus z and z raised to m minus 1 dz right so this is the famous euler's integral and this integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus z z raised to m minus 1 is given by gamma of m right so if we compare these two integrals then we can see that m can be replaced by n plus 1 right so this integral now it takes uh, uh, the form gamma of m plus uh, n plus 1 right so i can be written as minus 1 raised to n n plus 1 raised to n plus 1 and here we have gamma of n plus 1 right so viewers the value of uh, this integral is given by this expression right now here uh, we see that uh, our n belongs to uh, the set of natural numbers right so by definition we can write gamma of n plus 1 is equal to factorial n right so we can replace gamma of n plus 1 by factorial n so we have i is equal to minus 1 raised to n and n plus 1 raised to n plus 1 and here we have factorial n right so the final value of uh, this expression or this uh, integral is given by uh, this expression right so now suppose we have to find the value of this integral 0 to 1 x log x raised to 4 then we can compare this integral with this one so the value of n is equal to 4 right which is a natural number so the value of this integral can be obtained by uh, putting n is equal to 4 in this result so we have uh, the value of this integral as minus 1 raised to 4 4 factorial here we have 4 plus 1 5 and 4 plus 1 5 and minus 1 raised to 4 is plus 1 4 factorial is 24 and 5 raised to 5 is 3 1 2 5 right so the value of this integral is now 24 divided by uh, 3 1 2 5 now let us find out the value of this integral uh, using this result so this is 0 to 1 x log x raised to 3 and here if we compare this integral with this one then the value of n is 3 right and 3 is a natural number so we can find the value of this integral by putting n is equal to 3 in this result so the value of this integral is minus 1 raised to 3 3 factorial then 3 plus 1, 4, then 3 plus 1, 4, so we have 4 raised to 4, right? So minus 1 raised to 3 is minus 1, 3 factorial is 6, and 4 raised to uh, 4 uh, is 16 times 16, that is 256, right? So let us simplify it, so we have minus 6 over 256, so this is uh, 2 3s are 6, then we have 2 12s are 24 and here we have 8 right so the value of this integral is minus 3 divided by 128 